dope pair is back in our own personal lab, the Bat Cave, whatever you want to call it. Uh, before we get into this uh, video, as you saw in the intro of this video, today is Classic Corner Day. We're going to start trying to do that. I'm going to try to do it every Sunday where we, uh, I guess you can say, unbox or show you guys a shoe from back in the day that I picked up that re-released this year that I thought was kind of fresh, so I picked it up. Before we get into that, make sure to subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, and turn on those notifications. We're still running hard at 1K. We got three weeks left. Let's see what we can do in these last three weeks of 2020. We are very grateful for where we're at right now. We've added about uh, 20 members to the family in the last five, six days. So, hey, that's awesome. So uh, continue to support the channel, share it, and uh, thanks for hanging out with a couple mature people that like to talk about shoes and whatnot. <laughs> mature, huh? Yeah, inner well, child. Inner, yeah, thank you. Inner chill. This is an inner child thing we do here, but, you know, it is what it is. It's his inner child. You like it, too. I'm just All right, Mom, what you, what you got to talk about today? Uh -oh. So, no, uh -oh. nothing big. I just kind of want to pick you guys' brains, see where you guys are at. So we talk about a lot of shoes here, and a lot of them are, I don't want to say expensive, but they're over $100. And it's great for people who are our age or, you know, whose feet aren't grown anymore. But we were out picking up shoes and kind of Christmas shopping at the same time. We have a granddaughter. I'm sure you guys have seen her before, correct? We had her on the show, one right? video. I don't like you guys Hi, to see Piggy. my family. So anyway... There had some really cute shoes for her. Mind you, she wears an infant size five or six. And they were like $70, $80, $90. And so I'm just kind of wondering what you guys think about spending that much money on a kid whose feet are not going to be that size for longer than six months to a year. Even our teenagers. Like, I I don't want them to be embarrassed at school, but I don't want to buy them hundred and something dollar Jordans so that they can be out of them in a month. What do you think? Uh... Well, as far as the baby goes, it's kind of cute, and I, I think it's kind of cool. We did it. When our boys was young, we bought them stuff like that. Yeah, because we were their parents. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and as far as they go, they would never be embarrassed at school. So let me let me correct what you said there. They'd never be embarrassed. But I think there is a fine line between spending. And, like, GS sizes are now usually price tag. You're looking between 130 and 150 depending on what it is, unlike the uh, – Jubilee that just dropped, that was 180 grade school. But special shoe, I get it. But I wouldn't spend that kind of money for a kid to go out and tear that shoe up. Right. Now, I'm not going to have you run around in skips or nothing like that where you get laughed at, which to me, if you got shoes on your feet, clothes on your back, who gives a bleep anyway? Wait, but pause there. But Why do you do what you do? On, but, yeah, but back then, I understand it now. Right. Back when I was young, I didn't understand why my parents didn't want to spend all that money. And, you know, I got made fun of for my shoes. But now I understand why they didn't, which allows me to take care of the shoes and not even shoes. I take care of things very well right. because now I see, first off, what I have to put into it to get the money to get the stuff. So I appreciate it and I'm damn well sure going to take care of it. Right. So not that the kids don't appreciate that yet, but they don't see it quite that way yet. So I understand what my parents were doing and I'm all good with it. So now, you will or you won't spend the money? Now, for will them? I get them maybe if I can catch some J's for a hundred bucks, hundred and ten? I've done that. Right. I don't mind that. But one eighty, two hundred dollars <laughs> for some J's, not until I know you can take care of them. Right. Then I don't have a problem spending the money because uh, you know, I'm trying to get my boys into this channel. We get done doing it, so I can hand it right over to them. So. So what about the grandbaby? Are you grandbaby? Spend... Those shoes do look cute, but seventy dollars is high. But I mean. But she's. You know. I know. I don't know, but like I said, you do, <laughs> you do grow all that shoe fast. You do, especially as a as an infant, toddler. I mean, you can't even now. Maybe the kids can put the small shoes on and go cut grass in them or something right. and play around. But right, I mean, you can't even look like she got bottle caps on her feet or nothing. No, you can't do that. No, and I mean, <laughs> at least she's walking, but is is that enough? I don't know. As I, grandparents, I mean, we probably will do it, but just, you know, what are you guys' thoughts on spending that kind of money on your kids' shoes if you know, A, they're not going to take care of them, and B... They'll be out of them in a little bit. So, what do you guys Plus, think about that? Plus, she can't talk yet if she asked, and I probably had to get it. I'm sure you would. Since she can't talk, it doesn't bother me now. Right. All right, so let us know down in the comments what you think about that. Now, we're going to get into the shoe. Uh, uh, this shoe first released in 1995, Ooh. and Mr. Scotty Pippen made this shoe famous. 
Uh, I believe that was their 72 win championship year, 95. Mm -hmm. That's what this is from. It re-released this year and it sold out and I couldn't get it. And it restocked and I was able to get it. So you know, we have your orange box here. There's your tag. And it reads air, mo, tempo. Well, actually more, but yeah. Uh, black, white, black, ten and a half. It says black, white, black? Yep. I can't see. I don't have my glasses on. And I thought these were kind of fresh myself. I remember so these I in know, 95. So I, I had to grab them. I had to grab them. That's a nostalgia shoe for us. Wow. Taking me back. So you got the up tempos right here. It's Scotty Pippen. And anybody who knows me, I was a huge Chicago fan, a huge Michael Jordan fan. And once he retired... I don't even watch basketball anymore. He doesn't. I, I may try watch to it. get him to. I may but... watch it from time to time, but... Oh, actually, let me take that back. I did watch Kobe, and you didn't like the Black Mamba. I Mama. don't like... I'm sorry. R.I.P. Kobe. But uh, I'm I not did a, watch a Kobe fan of Kobe's. Because I thought he was, I mean, a, almost a mirror image of Michael Jordan, so I enjoyed watching him play. But now, since those two, I don't want to watch no stupid basketball. I'd rather watch Peyton We'll watch I. college basketball. Yeah, it's only because of the rivalry. Especially when they you play. You showed it off? Yeah, I did. All right. Well, I'm going to show it up for you guys real fast. Like I said, I'm not too knowledgeable on the shoe. I just wanted the shoe because <laughs> I thought it was dope. And Batman and Robin pipping with the dude. I don't care what y'all say. Uh, we got that black outsole with the white check. Got the white check in the air swoosh. on the heel, the swoosh. <laughs> we go to the side. It's got a nice little uh, hard black design right there on the side with a white swoosh here. And we got that air technology on the bottom, as you can see right there. One, two, three, and four. We hit the side panel. You, obviously, this day you see that fat ass air right there. You can't miss that. Uh, leather, I'm going to say that's like a suede. New buck. I'm a new buck. The material is, is immaculate on this shoe. Uh, I'm going to go to the toe box. You got another Nike swoosh right there in white. Uh, like I said, new buck all around the shoe. Uh, you have your stretch, you have plastic eyelets, but then you have your stretchy, I don't know what you call it, kind of, how would I explain elastic. that? Elastic that keeps, it, it's a basketball shoe, you basketball players, you know that keeps your foot sh secure and snug and all that good stuff. Uh, we go to the to tongue. Make you jump higher. We got another swoosh there, the front pull, make your foot, make sure it's in. <laughs> On the back, we got another pull tab. With another swoosh in white, and it's more like a little plastic bubble. white bubble swoosh right there, with your uh, air technology on the back there. And uh, same thing on the insole. Inside. Inside side panel. You got that fat ass air. To me, that's a dope shoe all the way around. I mean, like I said, Pippin, awesome. Uh, and these, to me, have not lost any kind of. People are going to talk about you because it's all black. Now, but see, this is one of those shoes, though. When you see it, you're not like, oh, man, that's all black. You see the air. That's all you see is air. Yeah, so you don't even look at the shoe being black. Right. And this kind of reminds me of the Barclays, kind of, even though I like Pippin more. So, uh, Mom, what you think about this? I, li I remember it. I do, too. And I like it. So, I think I'm going to do eight and a half. Eight and a half? Uh, I'm going to go with eight. And not that I don't like it at all. The, the shoe is it remind, is exactly what I remember it. It is. I mean, I don't know what the materials were back in 95, but whatever they, the, uh, if I don't believe it was New Buck, uh, don't hold me to that. If it was, somebody correct me, please. But if it was not, the New Buck they slapped on here now, that, this shoe is beautiful. This is a very nice shoe. It's beautiful. It is. <laughs> I mean, it is. It's just a, it's a nice shoe. And usually I don't like all the crazy letter, like crazy mess all over mm -hmm. it. This is a nice shoe. And what were you doing back in 1985? 95. 95. 95. I think I was living in Vegas. Either there or just coming back. You know, I think I came back in 96. I think I was living in Vegas in 95. What were you doing? Going to college? Uh, or just getting done? No, I was just, I was going to school. I was going to school. You said, nice, nice shoe. And you got a white Nike Air right in there. So uh, let me know down in the comments, did anybody pick this up? I was uh, working at Foot Locker then. 
Man, if I'd have known you then, I could have got the deal. The I was working at Kids Foot Locker. Oh. You couldn't have got the hookup. No. Uh -huh. I mean, I could have still got you a discount at the other Foot Locker, but yeah. And oh. you did know me. I did, but you know. Let me know down in the comments what you guys thought about this shoe. Like I said, very nice shoe in my opinion. Uh, definitely worth a pickup. Uh, retailed for one sixty, and I want to say I caught this for one twenty, if I'm not mistaken. I know I didn't pay full price for it, but still, uh, I think one sixty is not a bad ass for this shoe at all. I don't think you can go wrong with this at all. And for you hoopers, there you go. Make you jump higher. Yeah. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you guys think about the shoe. Let us know what you think about what we discussed earlier about the uh, baby price of those shoes being so expensive and all that. I mean, it is what it is. Um, there's something else I was going to say, and I just forgot. Oh. He's classic, too. Yeah. Let me know, what you guys, <laughs> let me know how you guys feel about that if we start doing like a classic corner Sundays. Well, we try to get, now not everything, I mean, sometimes I can't get anything classic and we'll do something else, but let me know what you guys think about this classic corner idea on Sundays and we'll grab something for nostalgia's sake. Does it have to be something that came out again this year or just something from like, maybe you have something since you take such good share, care of your shoes, maybe you have something True, from True, but I like to kind of 10, go back to back like when we were in high school and all that, shoes that, you know, and you know they've re-released things so many freaking times, it shouldn't be hard to find anything, but just whether I want to spend the money on it right. or not. So, uh, again, you know our motto here. If you dig it, buy it, and you definitely need to pick this up. Not a bad shoe at all. Mr. Producer, before we get out of here, what do you think of this? I actually kind of like that. The, the air, I like that. Look at that. We got, two, we got two shoes in a row that he's liked. What number are you going to give it? Nine. Wow. He gave this a nine. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Like I said, you can't go wrong with this at all. It's not a, not a bad shoe. I'll give it one more spin. All right, uh, how'd everybody do on the Jubilees? I'll make this fast. How'd everybody do on the Jubilees? I heard those babies sold out. Uh, we do have the Jordan 13s coming up. What's today, 13th? Next Saturday. Yep, today's 13th. The Jordan 13s are coming out, I think. I can't think of anything else. What I was really wanting is coming out this week. Maybe some Air Maxes, stuff like that. But like I said, it's about to be Christmas time. And we got to buy our grandbaby $70 shoes. Yeah, no. <laughs> So, you know, I'm only getting stuff that I really see. I'm not splurging right now. I'll save that for next year because there's a ton of nice stuff coming out. But I do have a, <laughs> a hype beast purchase that I will show you guys in the next video. And this is the one and only time I'm going to be a hype beast because, man. So we'll get to that in the next video. Catch you guys later. Peace. Peace.